Vegas police say an Oregon man fired more than 70 shots from a hotel balcony near the Strip on New Year's Eve. He reportedly caused more than $100,000 in damage. Fox 12's Drew Reeves joins us now in studio with the story. Drew? Yeah, that man is facing more than 70 felony charges. Luckily, police say no one was injured by any of that gunfire, but nearby buildings were damaged. Police say that John Letzkis was at the MGM Signature Towers when he shot more than 70 rounds while he was pacing between his room and the balcony. According to court documents, before he fired those shots, he began placing heavy furniture in front of his door to stop security from entering. Those documents reveal that he said he was afraid that security was sent after him by his wife. Court documents in Oregon reveal that Letzkis was living in Warrenton in Clatsop County and going through a divorce in October. Court documents say that Letzkis said he was shooting a gun because he needed to get the attention of police officers. But when police arrived, Letzkis was not there. They later found him at a restaurant and arrested him. In court yesterday, Letzkis' lawyer tried to get him electronic monitoring, but the judge denied that request, raising questions about his mental health. When you read the report, it completely gives a picture of someone who is potentially mentally unstable, unpredictable. I have absolutely no way of looking into some crystal ball to ensure that something more dangerous wouldn't happen in our community. What he did in our community or what he's alleged to have done in our community is incredibly dangerous. Yeah, that judge set Letzkis' bail at $500,000. And police, people who were inside the building say they are thankful no one was hurt, but it is a New Year's Eve that they will never forget. Court documents show Letzkis is estranged from his wife, and he told officials he was fearful of his parents, his wife, and that he has hallucinations. Reporting in studio, Drew Reeves, Good Day, Oregon.